Hello, my name is uh, Sanj Kakar. I'm consultant hand and wrist surgeon here at Mayo Clinic. And today we'll be talking about a wrist fracture. A wrist fracture is a very common injury. When we're talking about the wrist, we're talking about this bone in here. And this is a common injury and it can happen innocuously, for example, if you're playing sport and you trip and fall, landing on an outstretched hand. It can also happen, for example, in traumas such as a, a car accident or a fall from a height. And interestingly, uh, there's also uh, a concept called a fragility fracture in patients, for example, over the age of 55, there are about 2 million of these, and that's higher than the incidence of breast cancer, heart disease, and stroke a year, whereby patients have osteoporosis and an innocuous fall will uh, result in a wrist fracture. Patients are commonly seen with this injury. They have pain at the wrist, and sometimes they have deformity and swelling, and frequently they go into the emergency room. They're diagnosed uh, primarily on a physical exam where they're very tender right in this area here, and an x-ray will often show the deformity. In terms of the initial treatment, the bone is uh, set uh, back into its position, uh, and x-rays are taken and then, then placed into a cast. And most of the time, these uh, fractures are properly set and will heal, and it takes about six weeks for the bones to heal. However, sometimes when the x-rays are taken after the uh, fracture is reduced, it can sometimes show that the bone is not in the exact right position. And if that is the case, the concern is that sometimes the forces in the wrist will be altered, leading to possibly arthritis down the road. And that's when patients are often sent to see us uh, for the treatment of these fractures. We can treat them simply in the cast if the reduction looks good, and they're followed for uh, up to six weeks, and then we start them, uh, patients doing range of motion with therapy, and get them back to their function. Or sometimes we need to do surgery. In terms of surgery, there's a myriad of different options. We can simply place uh, pins into the bone, and they stay inside um, the bone for about six weeks, and then they're pulled. Sometimes we put an erector set on the outside of the arm with pins going into the bone, holding the bone in the right position so it sets in the right way. Or more commonly, we use uh, plate and screws, where we make an incision on this part of the wrist here and put plate and screws inside to fix the bone to hold it together. That tends to stay in there forever, but it's important to follow these patients as sometimes what can happen is that the uh, ropes, uh, the tendons, which are the ropes in your hand that help you move your fingers, sometimes they can rub on the plate and it's like having a stone in your shoe. For example, if you walk around for a long time, you can have a hole in your sock. That can sometimes also happen with these tendons and if it's left alone, the tendons can rupture. So it's important to be followed by your orthopedic surgeon because if the tendon is being irritated, we ru uh, routinely remove the uh, plate. In terms of recovery, uh, patients tend to uh, be in a cast for about anywhere from two to six weeks, and then they start therapy. Initially, the surgery uh, can be painful, so it, uh, patients have uh, usually a block or go home on pain medicine, but it tends to be day surgery. In addition uh, to the wrist fracture, if you can imagine when you, when you break your bone, you have skin, you have tendons, you have ligaments around the bone, and sometimes those can be injured as well. So it's important when you've broken your wrist to see somebody who indeed can follow these uh, appropriately because there may be, for example, a, an associated uh, carpal bone fracture like a scaphoid uh, fracture, which is a bone adjacent to the wrist joint, or in addition, uh, there could be ligament injuries as well. It's important that your wrist bone is set correctly because sometimes what can happen is that the fracture can go into the cartilage and if the cartilage is injured, that can uh, result in arthritis down the road. And so if the bone is not set in the right position, you can uh, have uh, arthritis down the road giving you wrist problems and pain, stiffness and deformity. So in summary, I would say that wrist fractures are common. Most of the patients are treated without surgery. However, there is a subset of patients who do need surgery, and it's important that those patients are followed appropriately uh, by their local orthopedist or hand surgeon.